ben echt super enthousiast vandaag, want ik ga zo meteen praten met Christian Camargo. Dikke kans dat je die kent als de Ice Truck Killer uit de Amerikaanse serie Dexter. Maar Christian is ook een heel bekend theateracteur. Zo speelt hij hier op het Holland Festival in maar liefst twee Shakespeare stukken. Beide geregisseerd door de bekende regisseur Sam Mendes. Ik ben wel benieuwd wat Christian nou eigenlijk heeft met Shakespeare. En ook wat kunnen wij hier nou eigenlijk van verwachten? Hallo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And welcome in Amsterdam. Thank you very much. I love your nail polish. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, here at the Holland Festival, you're uh, performing two Shakespeare plays, nonetheless. Um, obviously, Shakespeare is set in a very different time. Do you think it's still relevant, especially for people my age? Yes. Yeah, because he, he he uses very universal themes. You know, people think, oh, Shakespeare is so complicated because the the language is so different. However, the relationships are very simple, and the, the story is very simple, told in a very beautiful way. Um, and it catches people off guard, they, they, they're very surprised by it. And how is that for you, when you were like in your early 20s, or at least I hated younger? Shakespeare. Yeah? Yeah, I was like, that's, that's for like arty farty intellectual types, you know, it's, what is that? In, in high school, I didn't even want to study it, it was like, ugh. And then when I went to drama school to be an actor, we had to study it, we had to learn it. And when I del dove into it, um, it was much more simple than I thought, you know. Shakespeare is full of tricks uh, in the, the way he writes. He has, he has things that repeat over and over again. And you learn those, it actually becomes quite easy to memorize, to perform, because he's given you such a foundation to work off of. And as a person in the audience, um, when you start hearing these similar things, you start understanding the language of Shakespeare. It becomes fun, it's sort of addictive. So <coughs> I went from a hater to a lover, you know. I, I, I really do, I enjoy it. So let's just say that Shakespeare would still be alive today. Do you think he'd still be working on theatre or would he have moved on to film and television? Um, I think he would be doing the medium at which uh, most of the masses respond to. I think he'd be in television. Yeah. <laughs> I think he would be. <laughs> Can you think of anything that's on right now that he might have been working on? Uh, no, I think that you know, he, would have, he would have enjoyed probably Mad Men. You know, he would have enjoyed that. He probably would have enjoyed, uh, probably not very much, actually. Yeah, <laughs> he probably would have looked at television and go, you guys could be doing a lot better. <laughs> so how is it for you when you've been working as an actor for years and then this one part in a successful show like Dexter comes along and you're instantly a star? It's funny, I, I should be watching more television. I don't really watch television and I had no idea how the show was becoming this big hit, you know? And the downside of that was, you know, uh, for a while, people saw me just as a serial killer, you know, as just a, as a really creepy bad guy, you know, and uh, and that's what led me to wanting to just sort of go back to school, just doing some more theater, you know. There's lots of actors in America who don't do theater, you know. That's the they're more on a celebrity approach, you know. They want to be a they want to be famous, and that's fine. But it's just if you want to be a good actor, you need to be able to do to learn, to keep growing, you know. And theater helps you do that a lot. Sam Mendes, obviously, yeah. he's uh, done some some movie work as well. Uh, does that he reflect has? in? Uh, <laughs> he has, I'll oh, right, tell you. Yeah. Does that reflect in his um, approach to theatre? Yeah, I think the, the thing that, that he, he shares with the film is his aesthetic approach. Uh, it, he's got a very good eye as far as like um, the balance of the picture. Everything is very clear um, and and very pretty and beautiful in it, and it could be beautiful and gory at the same time. Do you know what I mean? But it just it's right. Could you give me one good reason why young people should just not stay at home, watch television, but go to the theatre and see Shakespeare? One good reason? Um, it would be hard to pick the one good reason. But um, a good reason is, uh, is there's a reason Shakespeare's been around for so many hundreds of years. Um, his stories have uh, a quality about them that it's very magical. It's like Lord of the Rings or, or, or The Hobbit or other stories that, that last for generations. And um, it can only be told properly in the theater. Um, it's why, you know, there haven't been big blockbuster movies of Shakespeare, because it, it works for the theater. It was written for the theater, it's in the theater. Um, young people should go because you don't want to be left out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for the so interview much. and good luck with the show. Thanks very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Zaterdag 5 en zondag 6 juni is Christian nog te zien in The Tempest en As You Like It met The Bridge Project. Wil je nou wat meer informatie over deze voorstelling of over een andere? Kijk dan even op www.hollandfestival.nl